The gantry system from OPS Ingersoll is completely different to anything else in the marketplace. And we've travelled to Burbach in Germany where Scott Ellesmere of HK Technologies is going to be talking me through their products. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. got the Eagle Ranger machines, the gantry style, why is gantry so important? OPS Ingersoll uh, adopt a completely different philosophy from any other machine tool maker. Many companies focus on the C-frame uh, design, which is actually a cheaper way to build a machine tool. But OPS Ingersoll work with the small plug and play units right up to the very large size uh, machine tool. So this means in the larger uh, machine tool, you, invariably you're going to be using larger electrodes. And having the large gantry uh, design enables us to keep a stability with the machine when we're moving those large electrodes around because each machine, when you're EDM in, is susceptible to a hydraulic force that is incurred when we're moving the electrode in and out at very high velocities. On this machine, we're capable of moving at 1.4 Gs and at 18 meters per minute. When we have a large electrode, of course, we have to slow that down but it means that wherever you see the, the ram move, it is always supported by four shoes. So there is no elongation of the, of the ram coming out, so it's always supported. In the upper head, uh, we have a double slideway. One is on the top side and one is on the front of the machine, which means that we don't get any twisting action, which also helps us to support that. By having the gantry design as well, it means that when we actually move it to the back of the machine to uh, collect a tool, and we might have a 20 or 30 or even 50 position tool changer in the standard configuration, it means that we don't inflict into the working area. Are there any performance benefits to this type of machine? Yeah, absolutely. Um, OPS Ingersoll worked for many years uh, developing a generator. They call it the Eagle Tech or, or, or Eagle Power. And this uh, fundamentally is really working with, it, initially with the mold making industry. This was the main focus. Um, Looking at graphite, mold makers like to be able to produce graphite electrodes very, very fast. And some of the wear factors that you can get uh, from this EDM technology is absolutely outstanding. What it means for the uh, manufacturer, instead of having to make five or six or even seven maybe graphite electrodes 10, 15 years ago, we're now into real areas where we can consider one or even two uh, electrodes for the, uh, for the manufacturer to actually make. And I understand it's designed and manufactured here in Germany. It is indeed. All the steel uh, components are sourced uh, locally. Uh, only the top quality products uh, are used in the construction, uh, which gives, uh, gives the operator uh, and, the and the purchaser of the technology long-term uh, reliability and stability in the product. And I know they're one of the market leaders in the mold and die sector, but who else would buy this machine? Yes, yeah, certainly the mold and die sector is the main focus and uh, maybe a lot of people confuse OPS Ingersoll with being just associated with the mold and die industry because they understand the complete workflow process. But uh, there are many installations in many of the leading aerospace companies, um, but also uh, high production job shop facilities as well, um, such as grinding wheel dressing for example, as well as the traditional sort of aerospace components that you might see. And I know we can add automation to this as well, can't we? The, the opportunities here with OPS Ingersoll for automation are truly outstanding. Um, each automation system uh, can be configured for each customer's individual needs. So one of the things that makes uh, automation so uh, possible with a machine is the fact that we have a three-sided rise and fall tank. So when the gantry is fully back, not only does this mean as a standalone machine, it has full accessibility all the way around side, which is great when you've got larger components that you might want to bring in by crane or by forklift, but it means the ability to put a robotic system on the side or job management system on the side of the machine makes the accessibility all that much more easy. It's a very high-end EDM machine. What control have we got to drive it? So we're using the Andronic control. Uh, historically, we've been using this on the milling side as well. Uh, so it makes sense to, uh, to use those two. It's a very easy system to use, touchscreen, uh, 
ability to bring in offsets directly into the into the program, which is a huge cost saving for, for the operator if he wants to work that way. Or of course you can work in the traditional way, probing electrodes, probing workpieces on the machine. Does it work with the automation? Absolutely, yeah. When we uh, start with the basic automation system, all the programming can be done on the control itself. And then the automation would be called in as just a, a simple job list. And that would be the first step into automation with a simple automation system on the side of the machine. Yeah, I can see that. So we've got automation, performance benefits, easy to access. So this technology from OPS Ingersoll, it's available exclusively from HK Technology? Yeah, absolutely, within the UK and Ireland. Uh, we've been uh, supplying this technology for a number of years now, and uh, we have a multitude of installations uh, dotted around uh, the UK.